Anakin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you used your axe to cut out the key out of that dragonkin's stomach? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Ah, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. Thirteen? Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does in fact live inside. Something unfriendly. That's some solid intel. Next. You turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is not entirely at rest. Okay. Come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. Uh, eight. As you approach the idol, 
you dash your foot against one of the stones and fall face first into the dirt. A bony hand shoots up from the ground right before your eyes. You feel the ground move and jump up just in time for the undead soldier buried there to sit up from his shallow grave. Dirt and pebbles cascade down his fleshless torso. Then the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Run! Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgeron. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. You got this, Drew. I mean... Durgaron? Weak, foolish creatures! You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgaron is still wearing his bracer of fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some like, ice slice thing. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Shit. That's good, right? Durgaron, roll to reduce damage. You pull out your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. Durgaron takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. I'll swing my giant ass sword at your head. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. You'll Pay for that. I call upon Elamon. Help enough out. Hmm. I know. I cast clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgeron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgeron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I 
I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage, dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgeron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Whew, man. Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. Nicely done, Alamon. Uh, if Durgeron's dead, I grab his bracer. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one Bracer. Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Hey, wizards cast spells. It's what you do. So do it already. I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? So you've never used this spell before. You've also never died. It's gonna be a first time either way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. Some party mate I've been. I got your feet cut off. Taking the hit is the best thing I can do for this party. No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. Think of all the distressed villagers out there who need you. If you kill yourself, you're also killing them. But I, I can save everyone. I know I can. Somehow. It's not about what you can and can't do. This is about the greater good. I know you'll make the right call. No. I won't abandon the best partner I've ever had. Mikey. I cast Shield of Stars. Oh boy. A dome of blinding light surrounds the party. 
it captures the attention of all surrounding.